My name is Frank Mazzella. I'm the Learning Products Manager for Vision Research. I'm here to present a series of PCC Phantom Camera Control software tutorials intended to show you many of the various features and processes incorporated in PCC. In this tutorial, EDR, Extreme Dynamic Range and PCC, you will learn how to use the EDR feature which is extremely useful when hotspots do or potentially exist. EDR is a feature that will reduce the number of saturated pixels within a scene allowing you to extract data from an area where image data would be lost due to overexposure with minimal effect on any pixel that is exposed normally. Essentially, when an EDR exposure is defined the camera will slow down the charging process of any pixel that is destined to become saturated before the exposure time expires. This will reduce the possibility of those pixels from becoming saturated, allowing the details in the whites of the image to be as good as those in the blacks. Before we start, however, it's important to note that EDR should not be used in conjunction with the auto exposure feature we will discuss in the auto exposure in PCC tutorial. For this tutorial, I'm going to use the Mero 320S Cam2 camera. I'm going to set its resolution to 512 by 600. The sample rate to 4000 frames per second and the exposure time to a maximum exposure of 240 microseconds. I'm also going to set the trigger position so that I can record an equal number of pre-trigger and post-trigger frames. Notice based on these settings we can't see the details of the filament in the light bulb. In order to do this I could throttle down the aperture in this case 7 f-stops but if I do I can't see the fan anymore. This is where EDR comes into play. I'm just going to reopen the aperture first. Now I'm going to set the EDR value to one half the exposure time or 120 microseconds. Essentially, this is the same as throttling down the aperture 1 f-stop. Notice that some of the pixels in the light bulb are no longer saturated, but not enough to see the filament clearly. Remember, I needed to close down the aperture on the lens 7 f-stops to see the filament a moment ago. To get the same effect using EDR, I would need to divide the exposure time in half 7 times. Therefore, I'm going to set the EDR exposure to 1.875 microseconds. This would be equivalent to throttling down the aperture of the lens 7 f-stops. Notice that the filament of the bulb is clearly distinguishable and the fan is still visible. In cases where you are not sure what the EDR exposure time should be set to, Vision Research recommends that you start at a value that is at least one half the exposure time. With all of our capture settings defined, I'm going to disable the EDR feature by setting it to zero to perform a CSR or current session reference. Vision Research recommends that a CSR not be performed when EDR is enabled as both features are pixel correcting mechanisms. If EDR is enabled during the CSR process, the pixel quality achieved could be adversely affected. For details on the CSR feature, review the Capturing Your First Cine tutorial. With the CSR process completed, I'm going to reset the EDR exposure to 1.875 microseconds. Since this is a color camera, I'm also going to perform a white balance adjustment, also detailed in the Capturing Your First Cine tutorial. And just as we did in the Capturing Your First Cine tutorial, I'll place the camera into the capture mode and apply a trigger to the camera. Now I can review, edit, and save the Cine if I wanted to, using the processes described in the Reviewing and Editing Your First Cine and Saving Your First Cine tutorials.
Before I finish this tutorial, I'm going to disable the EDR feature by resetting the EDR exposure back to zero. So that's how easy it is to use the EDR feature with your Phantom camera in PCC. For in-depth Phantom operations, Vision Research offers Phantom operations certification training. Please visit our training webpage at www.phantomhighspeed.com Service Support Training or contact your local sales representative who can be found on our website under the Contact Us pull down selection list for more information about our training sessions or for Phantom cameras in general. Thank you.